Hello gamers and incers and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video. Today we are playing a little bit of a classic which is a Braum and Vladimir. Um, Scar Grounds, you know, you keep your units kind of healthy-ish with spells and then everything else is uh, just there to kind of piss off your opponent uh, with like Spirit Unleashed, very good card for this. Um, and you have Transfusion, and you got Snowdog buffing stuff up. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we make can play that the opponent will uh, not enjoy. Uh, double Transfusion is a bit rough, but I'm just hoping they don't have Soul Harvest here. <clears throat> But yeah, the, the main reason I want to play this deck is because I've not played Vladimir in a while. Um, kind of big. Okay, so if we pass, it goes down to five. Hmm. You know what? We're going to pass. It's strange, but we're going to go for a pass. Very good. We'll take the six. I'm gonna go for this. I think getting the um, Spirit Unleashed down is a very, very uh, helpful. Also, the game seems unusually loud. I serve a nobler okay. Cause. Um, <clears throat> I think we're gonna have to sacrifice one of these dogs. I don't think I can go down that low. <clears throat> but, you know what? Blighted Battle Axe? Pretty cool card. Uh, since my opponent is has got mana, I want to see what they want to do before I play the Braum. Good steel and a good future. Okay, that's fine. So you either equip this on here, and we just pull the bigger unit. Okay. Have you met my shield? Fine with me. I'll have my revenge. Seems decent to me. I get a blocker. You uh. Lose both your units. So they either have a Darius or they have a Gwen. If they have a Darius, Darius is going to be a 6-6. Six, six. With this, it's a 3. Oh my god. All right, we counter Darius so hard. My axe is ready. Why is he a 10? Why is he a 7-10? Okay, so you're going to go to a 9-9. Nine, nine, so this actually counters it. <laughs> um... I mean, we could just Sky Splitter, right? And instantly level Darius. None shall oppose me. Help is underway. I mean, we have a lot that we can do here. Strength of the ball. Yeah, unfortunately for you, buddy. Wait, I can actually kill it. I think that's funnier. I think the funnier thing is killing this Darius. <laughs> Wow. What a game number one. I think that's worth. I think that's very worth. Okay. Ooh, I can't play both. Um, I'll take the uh, Tarkaz, though. Because if they play anything, we can get like a double pour or summon. Okay. If they have a buff, we lose the brawl. Hmm, it's not great, but... Okay. So we're just hoping they don't have a stun. If they have a stun, we're probably not in a good place. Um... What, do, what could I have? I got both of my transfusions. Okay, I guess if we top deck a Vladimir, that'd be like best case scenario. Spirits Unleashed. Not great. Because we take more damage. Okay. Going for the strike. You know what? Understandable that you might be angry about that. We'll take what we need to survive. If only she could see me. Okay. Okay. Um. I think 
damage wise we're pretty chilling oh actually no we can't do that because then the Gwen will level the Darius we actually nearly misplayed there but I have to I can't play this until after the attack They have zero mana as well, so I could literally just block this with a smaller unit. Um, so I can sacrifice the Tarkaz. No one else. Block, block. I mean, I'm fine with this. Why do I? Why does it say I take no damage here? I think the eye is just bugged. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we play the Spirits Unleashed, and we are uh, <clears throat> everything that hits is lethal, and everything kills the one. So yeah, game number one, solid game number one. Uh, we didn't draw the Scar Grounds, so let's let's find it. Let's find a Vladimir as well. Okay, Morgana and Mordecai is a bit of a scarier matchup. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's keep the Braum. See if we can find a bit of an earlier game. Okay. So. The issue that they can run up. So we played the tournament on the weekend. And this deck was very popular. So what I'm going to do is with the tournament mindset still fresh. I'm just going to pull up the deck. Um, I think it's Hate Spike. I don't know if they're going to run the other card though. So. Uh, Ooh. I only did run one soul harvest. Um So Most apparently apparently this version of the deck I'm looking at runs one copy of Soul Harvest, which is the only thing that kills us right now. Okay. So I was just attack here. Attack. Play the blood letter. And then if I play Braum next turn, I immediately get the Poro. Scar Grounds? God, there's so many things I need to do. Um They mustn't have anything. That's my thing. They mustn't have anything, so I'm going for this. Also, this deck doesn't have anything to deal with this. Uh, the version I'm looking at anyway, so. That was a soul harvest, I think. I think that was the card they were contemplating. Okay. Uh, so, we do this, and they probably play Morgana. And then if they do, we just unshackle and send it in. I don't want to buff up with Braum's Take Heart. That was a thing that I used to do. When the game first initially released, I used to be a massive uh, Take Heart gamer. And I'd just stack my Braum. I would then get Vengeance and be like, oh my god, this game is bullshit. And I'm like, I, you know, and you realise after a while, like, okay, maybe, maybe don't put, like, three Take Hearts on Braum. Um... So, okay. So we got that. Because we have Scargrounds as well, Tarkaz is like prime real estate. Uh, turn six is when some stuff might come down now. We've got Iron Hound. Mordekaiser can come down next turn. It can also Ruination this turn. So like the number one thing we want to do this turn, at least, is play Spirits Unleashed. And then we can play Braum if... A ruination, let's just say. Oh, that's pretty good value. Pretty good value. So everything gets tough. Braum becomes a 3 7. Um, like a Braum Vengeance here? Not even the worst case scenario for us. 8 Spike, okay. Um. So depending on what they spend, 
is what we will do next turn. Like, we've got seven, seven Vladimir's here. Okay. So that means next turn they're going to go to seven mana plus thing. Okay, so they could have Ruination. Uh. Hmm. Let's save this. Let's just have spell mana banked. Because we have Take Heart. So. We can play this as like the starting card. Um, so we'll do this. If they don't break, they'll burn. Kind of spread the buff out. I'd rather if, because like, if they ruination, the Empire proud. like I so said, we have stuff that we can do. Mordekaiser. Okay. Uh, pretty sure that just means that Mordekaiser is dead. Um, he's taking three. Wait, hold on. Does it? He takes three. Let's put five. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Them blood levels. Okay, yeah, so this is fine. So specifically, he has to hate spike on this. Oh, we also have transfusion. Okay. Um, so we go to six. We still have the transfusion. Um, however, I wouldn't mind... Just having more on this unit. Uh, Vladimir. Yeah. So it's damage. Just trying to get the order in right. Damage Vladimir. Buff this. Weird interactions. Um, yeah. So this can now die to the 3-3, three, three, but then that means Vladimir is just going to take, uh, he'll take 9. So yeah, sure, you can kill this, but yeah, you probably don't want to do that. And uh, in the tournament, we referred to uh, Ruination with the Emergency Eject button. We, we want a game restart. And um, I feel like that's what the opponent's going to do next turn. Because if they don't... Um, yeah, we're, uh, we're probably going to win the game. So, we just pass. We don't spend anything. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, no. They get the ramp again because they killed the thing. Okay. They go to 10. Okay. Oh, we got such a good hand here. Holy... Up to you, buddy. Do you ruination? No. Nope. He doesn't have it. We'll take the win. That's a, a nice game there. The power of Skargrounds, that one was. We had, there we did it. We got Skargrounds, we got Vladimir, we got Braum. We got the trifecta. Okay, we're back with the Darius and Gwen. Is this the same opponent? I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look at my match history. Uh e ooh, interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Huh. I don't know if you're supposed to play both of these. I don't think you are. Um, get uh, huh. I can't let that just go unanswered. Hmm. Or do we? No, I don't think we can. I think we have to skip. We'll take two. Because it's an aggro deck, right? So we can't just like, not go unanswered. They get two hallowed stacks. Um, and we just need to hope. Yeah, it is the same opponent. Uh, okay. Uh, right, we'll play Stefan. And then... We'll see. Interesting. Specifically because it's hallowed, I'm not going to block. Oh, sorry, because they have overwhelm in the deck. 
so. Four hollows. So if you have a Gwen, Gwen is. That's a big boy. Um, Alright, so we are going to kill that. Uh, thankfully, Stefan is uh, big enough. Remember the objectives. So we will take a uh, five damage here and get hit with an Ica. Um, so that's six because we're gonna have to develop here. Uh, develop. Um, develop. We'll say our hands looking a little bit, a little bit bad, a little bit worse for wear. Mm. Okay. Okay, we take an, another round of Ica because we're gonna play this into Braum. And get a full board and then drag. Like, this would maybe the best draw we could have got. Okay, Vladimir is three of five. Good steel and a good future. Um, we should be friends. I mean, the best block you have is a two one, so. May I see your invite? Okay, we do push ten. This deck, we, we know what this deck is, right? It's all about Overwhelm. So, next turn they can play Darius. Okay, it'd be scary if they had Darius and Apprehend. But I don't, I'm not looking at their deck list, so I don't know. I only glanced at it very, like, very quickly at the end of last turn. That is insane. Um, okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, if you have Might, I have to block with you Earth having Might in way. mind. So if you had Might, you will deal 10, and we have to play the Ica. Okay. And we could always Transfusion if we need to. I think it's my. I think this line is the worst case scenario. Okay. I think I should have bought with the 2-3, by the way. Just uh, just saying. Uh, okay, if they attack with the... If they play the 4-mana card... Yeah, I think this is fine. The 4-mana card that makes a like, free attack. Yeah, the Ruin Reckoner. Doesn't do anything. We just block and block with Braum. Stand behind Brom. Okay. Um, and then if we hit transfusion on the open attack, we just win. This is fun, yes? So we do damage and buff. Transfusion lethal. Let me have another... Get in there! Wow, we played that so well. That was a different one than the, uh, the last round as well. Victory is friends we made along the way. Ooh, okay. Braum specifically with Aurelia and the MF. This is what we need a Braum. Alright, there's Braum. We have a Braum. Um, Ice Shard is like really good for Blade Dance as well. If you go wide. Okay. So we have a turn three, turn four play. Let's just hope that the opponent doesn't have something better than the Scar Grounds. We have Scar Grounds on three, Braum on four, and Ice Shard. <laughs> Crazy. No prey, no pay. Yikes. Okay, so we're attacking six damage here. I mean, we got protection for Braum. The only thing we don't really have anything for is if I recall, which I think they might. They might have like, the oh, Blade Dance spell. Who knows? That's like the worst thing for us. I must become the leader they need. My shield is my <laughs> should be friends. Okay. Um. We get the Poro. How'd you do that? 
Okay, if they start with the flawless duet, we hit him with a sky splitter. So that these don't grow. But did I say sky splitter? I meant a uh, ice, ice shard. We got double sky splitter. Pretty insane, actually. Okay, that's fine. I mean, you're just growing my units. So. This is a, a funny matchup. Um, okay, so they're going to play this. And then the risk is, do we play Sky Splitter? Okay. You are safe with so they're going to level Misfortune? That's not going to do anything. Just gonna... <laughs> my units are just going to be absolutely huge. Okay. So they're dealing three damage with Misfortune? But they tapped out. Stand behind Brock. <laughs> okay, this is a 12 2. Okay, so if we just hit him with a um, Sky Splitter now, they're gonna lose both of these units. And they won't deal. I'm pretty sure they're just dead. That misfortune's, like, kinda scary, though. Attacking with this literally just gives you three damage to my Nexus. <laughs> I'm curious, this would die, but like 17 attack. Okay. And then we just open attack. And if they don't have a recall, they're just dead to a Braum. Literally pounding them like this. Game accurate Brom, am I right? <laughs> wow, that is a big Brom. I told you this would be a good matchup if we found Brom. We literally got like the God Hand. Okie dokie, game number five is a uh, Nico Noxus, which is the aggro version. So, we want to look for. Vladimir is nice, but I don't know. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep this just because I know it's the aggro version, so I'm, I want to keep it a lower curve. But ideally, I don't um, play it straight away. So, the spider. I'm actually going to pull this version up because I uh, would really like to win this game for one specific reason that I'll hopefully talk about at the end. Um... Just pass. I want to see what they do. Um, okay. Norman Hawk. Fine. Sky Splat is pretty nice. <clears throat> the Spider Cat Bird. Okay, so I pause so that I can get the Mighty Poro on uh, Braum. I think it's just better. We take the damage now. And then we capitalize from this point on. Wow. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, now I just need to double check that they don't have a buff spell for two mana. Might, further, decisive maneuver. Okay. Have you met my shield? <gasps> So we need a uh, car cards to block this right now. This is your ball. Okay. Your four subtypes with this attack. Is it now? Lots to lift. So the dealing guaranteed two impact. 
reptile, and they have might available to them. Okay, so we just need we just need to be aware of that might. We counter the might with a uh, sky splitter. So let's see. We've got Vrina. Um. Next turn. Okay. I mean, we're fine. We we'll literally just do this. We have to kill this because I don't want the impact harming us. And then if they might, we just sky splitter. We're furthering. I mean, I'd be saving that for face if I was personally speaking. But you know, you do you, bud. Uh, so we summon a mighty pearl on the attack. Um. In which case, do we want to play the Brenner? Hmm. Ideally, I want to find a Sky Grounds. Okay. The Winter's Claw will purge the weak. So we attack with everything, apart from the Poro, obviously, because then it dies if we do. You're casting a spell. You're fervoring. What are you for? Are oh, you decisive move ring? That's crazy. You know how crazy that is? That's crazy. Alright, well, since that's happening then, let's uh. Actually, let's get rid of the first one. Um. Let's make it so we at least trade if we uh. Let's do that. Okay, we seem to have held the line pretty well. Um, <clears throat> we can do... Start playing these Demolitionists. Um, just burn them down a bit. Um, okay, so the Dragons are going to go for Tarkaz. And then we just save it and go for... Reavers, avenge me! Lethal with um. We'll take what we want. The be open. Will burn. Okay. That's not an eco. Neither of these are an eco. So, keep that alive. Uh, so, really, all we need to do is to attack. And then we can do this afterwards. So as long as we have lethal... Yeah, we're two off. So we do this, and then we've got two burn here. They could further this and save them from dying this turn. Okay, so they're just dead. Wow, I... I kind of didn't expect to do that, but that decisive maneuver from the defense was a, a wild move, let's just say. Um, yeah. <laughs> Six burn in hand? Yeah, unfortunately, as the Noxus variant, you've been out aggroed, but that's just me. War Mason, reporting for duty. So, we deal the two, and uh, yeah, we take game number five. Which is really funny, because we're going to finish the video here, but this means all five games I have won, even the two practice games I tested with this version before, I have won. Which means I'm now, I think, oh no, I did three practice games. So if I pull up my uh, my match history on uh, Runeterra AR and flip on the camera, um, we have, uh, once it updates, we're going to be eight wins with uh, Brom Vladimir, which I think is uh, kind of crazy. Um, that we haven't lost a game with this today. As you can see, I'm trying to cook up some other decks here. This one probably will do uh, for the next video because it's a, a fun concept that I saw from uh, someone in the tournament. Uh, it's basically Tampon Brinter, but like it's not at the same time. So we'll, 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 you'll get to see that hopefully. But uh, yeah, this deck, hella fun. I'd recommend for anyone who's uh, wanting to try out uh, a fun Braum or Vladimir deck. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.